hello guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl Chanel back again with another video in today's video we are going to talk about 10 things when you are in a relationship when you see those kind of signs or when you get those kinds of feelings you need to leave I mean when the friendship the partnership like the relationship is becoming toxic here are some 10 things that you need to know I'm going to show you your relationship coach <laughs> okay so first thing you need to know when the relationship is becoming toxic is lack of support when you lack support from your partner or that kind of relationship that you find yourself in when you lack support it's not good healthy relationship is based on support your partner needs to support you for you guys to succeed in all the areas of life your friends are supporting you and your partner is not supporting you the one that needs to support you to get to your dreams and isn't doing that my sister you need to leave don't wait leave okay and the next one is when the relationship is one-sided yeah relationship shouldn't be one-sided relationship should be hundred hundred like equal i mean the texting the calls the mess like checking up should be done by both partners one can't take that job like every day i will be calling texting you like if i don't text no text if i don't call no calls you can't be a glued a relationship that doesn't want to be glued you get me but when you realize you're the only one making that effort in the relationship my sister leave leave don't wait like yes and the third point is when your partner constantly hide things yes i mean you hide things like girls hung out you and your friends went out nobody can take snaps of you you can't take snaps of yourself because when your partner sees it he or she's going to like pissed off yeah what kind of relationship is this so i can't go out with my friends or like i can go a girl's out like girls night out i can't take snap of myself me my own like my own self i can't do what i want because of a partner oh my god my sister you have to leave because how can you go out and do not take snaps because your partner is going to get pissed like you're hiding it so why don't you tell the person i'm going to the next point is disrespect the last thing that a person that claims he or she loves you to do is to disrespect you how on earth will you disrespect me like how can you disrespect me wait you need to set clear boundaries to your friends and to your partner that we are friends you are my partner but you can't disrespect me either to the face or on my back do i they are like they are aware and they still disrespect you that means your friends that they are not your friends they just want to hang around with you yeah and your partner doesn't love you he or she wants to get a title she's my girl eight point is abuse when you find yourself in a relationship like being abused physically mentally emotionally my dear brother or sister kick off that kind of relationship is poisonous it's not even toxic it's poisonous you need to leave it's not worth it you would die changing that person a person that wants to be changed will change you don't need to change that person you need to 
drop that kind of relationship and be with someone who constantly motivates you and bring out the better version of yourself rather than stay in that kind of toxic or like poisonous relationship with the aim of the sixth point when your partner holds you back like your partner constantly being unhappy jealous competitive whenever you do well like you're doing well in life that's a huge red flag that you need to leave and like just leave whenever you find yourself in just leave okay the seventh one is when you don't have a say in your relationship relationship couple comes out with two people being involved one person can be making all the date like the plans everything both of you need to plan things out you can't be in a relationship where you're like you can't voice out any plans or gaslighting when your partner offends you and you gather the confidence to tell your partner that you did this to me did that to me and i don't like it i don't want it to happen again and your partner tried to gaslight you or make you feel insecure or clear like doubt your reasons or or make you feel like you are the problem okay for instance like he he cheated on you and you gathered the confidence to like tell him you why like you cheated on me and i don't want you to cheat on me again and he is trying to make you feel like you are the problem like you are the you are the cause you made him cheated on you like you did that if it's like he would try with that flimsy excuses the ninth point is when your mood resolves solely how they treat you when arguments comes you like you change to a moody state yeah like it's good it's a fact but you can't be moody crying being in bed and not being productive like you can't hurt your productivity like you you shouldn't let that kind of argument or thing hurt your put like affect your productivity and you don't have to waste your tears on someone who is not wealthy? I mean, when you find your kind, when you find yourself in this kind of relationship, you need to leave. Like, at this point, you need to leave because you can't be. You will be bed sick. <laughs> Lastly, is when you feel belittled and ashamed. Yes, you need to ask yourself these questions. Does your partner make you feel less than? Do they belittle you? Does he or she makes you feel stupid and ashamed? Then you have to leave this kind of relationship because it's like they are all signs of toxic relationship and it's not good for your health i mean your mental health is going to affect you so when you find yourself in this kind of relationship please leave hope you enjoy my session i mean you enjoy spending this time with me a relationship coach hope you're happy and Please don't try, like don't try to stay in this kind of relationship. You need to leave for your health. You are your number one. You are your number one priority. If no one else, you yourself, you are. Okay. Yeah. If you like more of this stuff, give it like. Do that in the comment section and make sure you like, subscribe if you're new on my channel. Love you all.